Opinion. Kim Jong-un wants the world to take his threat seriously. The world once again is trying to parse the stance of North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. Is Kim positioning his regime to gain from the possibility that former President Donald Trump will return to the White House a year from now, or preparing to start a war? North Korea watchers long ago grew accustomed to Kim's dramatic pronouncements and spectacular military tests aimed at projecting power. But in recent weeks, something has changed. And some experts think this time we should be alarmed. Kim has made a strategic decision to go to war with Robert Carlin and Siegfried Hecker, two scholars with experience in national security who are not known for exaggerating the North Korean threat. The ominous assessment is even more troubling because the world is now facing two raging military conflicts. In Ukraine and the Middle East, each with potential to escalate and both pitting adversaries of the West against United States allies. That detail, which might sound incidental to what happens in North Korea, may be the key to why Kim is making moves that sound like the prelude to war. That doesn't mean the risks are not real. The situation on the Korean peninsula is more dangerous than it has been at any time since early June 1950, warned Carlin and Hecker in an article that has made waves across the globe. Although they do not link Kim's belligerent moves to events elsewhere, June 1950, by the way, was when North Korea's grandfather, Kim Il-sung, launched an invasion of South Korea, triggering the Korean War, which left millions dead, involved more than a dozen countries and devastated both North and South Korea. After North Korea was defeated, the fighting stopped with the 1953 armistice, but a peace agreement was never reached. Today, nearly 30,000 United States troops remain in South Korea. Kim has certainly been signaling that something fundamental has shifted, and he clearly wants the world to take his threat seriously. For decades, the Democratic People's Republic of North Korea, or, has had two explicit goals. One is to peacefully reunify with the South. The other is to normalize relations with the United States. Both of these seem to have been discarded. Thanks for watching.